As we say goodbye to 2023, some people are getting excited with the new year approaching. Our Jessica Tara roamed around Church Street to see what people's New Year's resolutions are, if they even had any at all. With the new year, that means New Year's resolutions. While some people I talk to are hoping to get on a fitness and self-love journey, some are not setting any goals in 2024. I'm so old, I've been through so many resolutions, I gave up. So I just go on living and hope for the best. I don't want to set up myself for failure. <laughs> so no. I don't have any because I always break them. So this way I'll be a success every year. So <laughs> we're just trying to get along, stay healthy. Others are hoping to just make it through to next New Year's. Basically, staying healthy and keeping alive with, uh, as you get older, you always, that's the big important part of having fun. Some are looking forward to small goals throughout the year. Bianca Bennett of Connecticut says she wants to be kind to herself in 2024. Maybe just like how I'm feeling lately, I know I can definitely be nicer to myself. And, you know, that's kind of where self-worth and self-love start. So you got to be kind to yourself. And I know I can be hard on myself, so definitely can be better with that. <laughs> and her friend Nikki Stemler says she wants to protect her peace. So I can remain level-headed and not take on other people's anxieties to make myself anxious. Christina Foley of Connecticut shares similar goals. In 2024, I am going to start thinking a little more about myself. Um, I am a big people pleaser and I feel like sometimes I'm taken advantage of a bit of it and I just want to sometimes put myself a little bit before. While some are working on their mental health, others are striving for better physical health. My New Year's resolution is to start tomorrow by doing one burpee, and then every day after that, I'm going to add another burpee. Burlington resident Wayne Warnkin says he will continue to do burpees for as long as he can. I do it as much as, until I can to do it anymore. Maybe to 100 is kind of a goal, so 100 days. It gets more challenging around Valentine's Day, you know, mostly at the end of the day when you're tired. And he believes it's good for the soul. Well, I just think it's incredible for mind and body. And it's been shown to be the number one thing for longevity, to have a long lifespan and a long health span. But it's also just really fun. And it's kind of like my own medication. Whether it's going to the gym or focusing on yourself, most people have some sort of goal for 2024. For those watching at home, Happy New Year. Reporting in the studio, Jessica Tara, Channel 3 News.